So I've had so many people ask me about my juicing and some different ideas for juicing. And anybody that's interested and you want to start juicing, follow me on Herbivore Hacker. It's my Facebook page at Herbivore Hacker. And it just goes through lots of different juicing. And if you want to introduce some more plant-based dishes into your life, um, then come and have a look at me over there. I'm going to show you what I'm doing today. This is a fruit and veg smoothie that I put together. It's so delicious. There's enough here. There's a lot. So there's enough for me and Dave. Um, and I'm going to fill these and put them in the fridge. So I've got my juicer. This is a Nama juicer. It's a cold press juicer. It's really a good one. Um, basically, we've got a couple of thumbs of um, ginger, two courgettes or zucchini, one large pak choy, or you can get two small pak choys. I've got three or four, I think, um, kiwi. I've just top and tailed them. You can keep the skins on. I've got two oranges. Always take the peel off citrus fruits because they're too um, bitter and oily on the outside, the skin. I've got one lemon and two limes. And then I've got six Granny Smith apples because they're nice and tart, tart nice um, for juicing. All right, so we just turn the juicer on and we're gonna start with the veg and I just pop them all in the top and you hear them crunch down and turn straight into juice. So, in with the, see there already, we're starting to get some juice. And here we have the pulp coming out the other end and it's already starting to fill up with juice there in the hopper. So we keep putting in the, um, the courgette. Bang it in, bang it in. Love to hear that crunch sound. And there you've got pure courgette juice. Give it a bit of a helping hand with this. Okay. We're going to work through our way all of this. So here I've worked my way through all of the courgette and some of the kiwi. I've also put in the um, what do you call it, the ginger, and that's really full now, so I'm going to open the hopper. Wow, look at all that amazing juice. Pure and utter nutrition right there. Look at all that pulp. You can tell a good juicer when the pulp is really dry, right? Right, we're going to go in with the pak choy now. We just bung it in the top. Give it a helping hand down. Taking it. There we go. Crunch, crunch, crunch. So let's go in with the rest of the pak choy. So there is not even look the whole pak choy. Still got a little bit left. Look how much it gives out. Look how much water and juice is in one large pak choy. Amazing. Look at that. So gorgeous. Okay, let's keep going. So this is the orange and some more of the apple. We're down to just a little bit of apple now. You can see I've started straining it into a large bowl. So this is apple and orange right here. And yummy, yummy, yummy. And that dry pulp. And look, I literally just sieve it through just to get out any little pieces. Not a lot really, but um, just to have it as pure juice as possible. And let's finish off with the apple. So there we go. So I've transferred it into a jug so it's easier to pour into my jars. And there we have the most amazing fruit and veg juice. Oh. So you know some people, they go and have, like if they're malnourished or they've just got a poor diet or they're just really ill, they go for injections of vitamins, vitamin injections, right? Well, this is pretty much that. So this hip right here is just pure, full-on nutrition, nothing else. Absolutely, it's like injecting your body with pure nutrition, hydration, helps with elimination, digestion, everything. It's so phenomenal. So fruit and veg, it does take a lot. And you think, well, what the hell am I going to do with all this pulp? 
Now, it is a lot of pulp. It's nice and dry. Look, that's how it show it's a really good juicer. It's juiced the heck out of every bit of veg and fruit. You can, you can boil this up and strain it and make it into a vegetable stock or Google um, juicing pulp crackers because you can actually make these into crackers, put them in the oven, you can bind them together, put them in the oven, Google it on YouTube. They're really good as well. You can make these into crackers. You can also just chuck them on your compost heap, so don't throw them in the bin. Amazing. So there we go. That's our juice for today.